Hi yogis, it's Manelli here. Thank you for joining me for another home yoga practice. Today's class is going to be a slow deep stretch for your neck, shoulders and upper back to relieve any stiffness. And if you're choosing to consume cannabis with this practice, I might recommend smoking an indica or taking a CBD or THCA tincture, which will be really good for anti-inflammation and tuning into those pain relieving qualities of cannabis. Find Sukhasana position, seated meditation, feeling free to use a wall for back support so you're sitting up nice and straight. Now let's do a couple of neck stretches, just gently letting your right ear come towards your right shoulder, not adding any extra weight, just letting gravity take your head over to the right, and maybe feeling free to walk your left fingertips over to the left to intensify the stretch on the left side of your neck. Feel free to add more depth in this stretch by bringing your right palm to your left ear. Inhale and bring your chin back up to center. And exhale, let your left ear fall over to your left shoulder progressing deeper into this next stretch over time if you'd like. Direct your breath to the right side of your neck and continue to sit tall. Inhale, pick your chin up, release your left hand, and exhale, bring your chin into your chest. Let your head get heavy and interlace your fingers on the back of your head, letting the natural weight of your palms come down onto your head. Bring softness to your face and breathe deeply for five breaths. On your inhale, slowly pick your chin up, release your hands, and exhale, gaze up, let your head hang back, expose your throat. And deep inhale, pick your chin back up. Come into a shoulder stretch here by reaching your right arm all the way across your chest to the left, and use your left arm to help pull the right arm in. Keep your right shoulder drawing back and down in towards your back and feel free to bring your right hand to rest on your left shoulder head. Inhale to release the stretch and slowly switch sides. Reach your left arm all the way across your chest to the right and hold the arm in, plug the left shoulder down and back and feel free to hold onto your right shoulder with your left hand. Breathe 
Breathe deeply into the sensations in your upper back. Inhale to release and press your arms away from each other. And shift your stance into puppy position. We're going to need two blocks for this, so set them up next to each other like I am. This is a really deep shoulder opener, so if you don't have blocked that fine, you can go ahead and just do this shape on the ground. Come into tabletop pose with your hips over your knees. Bring your elbows on top of the block, palms touch, and let your heart melt towards the floor. Maybe your forehead rests on the ground. Keep the stretch mostly in your shoulders by taking the dip out of your back. Draw your navel into your spine and you'll notice the shift here. This is a really good stretch to counteract all of that shoulder rounding that we do at desks and computers. Feel free to deepen this stretch by bringing your thumbs in between your shoulder blades over time. Slowly start to pick yourself up, coming onto the elbows, then your palms. Let's take a couple rounds of cat-cow, inhaling to cow, drop the belly, gaze high. Exhale, cat round the spine, push the ground away. One more time, super slow, moving like you're moving through butter. Move your blocks to the side and lay down on your stomach, interlacing your fingers behind your back for a locust pose. Firm the tops of your feet down. And on your inhale, peel your chest up, pulling your fingers back. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, locust pose again, come up a little bit higher Firm the tops of your feet down, come onto the soft part of your stomach. And exhale, lower down. One more time, inhaling, coming up the highest you have, rounding the shoulders back, feeling broad across your collarbones. And exhale, lower down. Take a few deep breaths while on your belly. Reach your right arm out on the right side on the ground and bend your left knee so it's 90 degrees. Use your left arm to help push up and roll onto your right shoulder head, bringing the sole of your left foot to the ground so that the knee faces the ceiling. 
Use your left hand as a brake or an accelerator to decide the intensity you want to feel in this stretch. Slowly release onto your belly, keep your left knee out in a half frog pose and cross your forearms and rest your cheek down. And start to switch sides, extend your left arm out, bend the right knee and start to roll into the left shoulder head. Moving slowly and mindfully and coming into your stretch over time. You might find that this side is a little bit stiffer than the other so let the depth you take in this shape resemble what's going on in your body. Just another way to stay aware of what's going on in your body in the present moment and protect yourself from injury. Slowly come back onto your belly, release your right leg down, cross your forearms and bring the opposite cheek down that you did before. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders and slowly push up to an easy child's pose. Bring your knees together or about hip distance apart, letting your head rest on the floor, maybe on a block. Let the shoulders rest on either side of your knees to bring some openness to your upper back and let them broaden naturally. On your next inhale, slowly roll up. Bring your left palm in between your shoulders as if you want to pat your back or come into a cow face pose with your left elbow facing the ceiling and bring your right palm to your left elbow to help straighten it towards the ceiling. Being sure to sit with your back straight, we have a tendency to take a little back bend with this stretch so keep the navel drawn in to keep your spine straight. Change the orientation of your hands. The right elbow faces the ceiling and your left palm hugs the elbow in. Hug your right tricep as close to your right ear as possible. Now press your arms away from each other. And slowly transition to our last shape, supported fish pose. We're going to use two blocks here. Making your blocks into a T shape, you want the top line of the T to be a support for your head and the bottom part of the T to support your upper back in between the shoulders. So there's going to be a space of about three inches in between the blocks. Lay down on the blocks and extend your legs forward. If this feels really intense on your shoulders, Bring the blocks on the lowest setting and maybe cover them with a blanket or use a bolster instead. Deepening the stretch by cactusing your arms out, letting your elbows and backs of your hands hang out on the mat underneath you. Soften your jaw and your face and stay with your deep breaths expanding across your chest and collarbones. We'll be here for about a minute.
slowly bring your arms back by your sides if you have them in cactus position. Bend one knee at a time bringing the soles of the feet down and roll off of your blocks into fetal position coming onto any side and using your bicep as a pillow. Just noticing how you're feeling after this practice compared to before. Gently press into your palm to come back up to your Sukhasana pose with your legs crossed. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all of your support and joining in this practice. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.